Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. It is Sunday, so we are looking at the book of Psalms every Sunday, and it's entitled uh, Sunday in Psalms. And um, so today I wanted to, we're episode 47, and I wanted to look at Psalm 47. Let me ask you, um, how often have you clapped for someone or something? Um, Usually, I reserve my clapping and shouting and, and stuff like that, unless it's something really, really good, okay? If, uh, you know, I, a lot of times we do it with our, our really young kids. We go, you know, they walked across the room and we're like, yay, that's great, yay, you know, and, and celebrate that. Uh, but when they, you know, get home on time at night, I don't clap for them, usually, Um uh, for doing that or just you know the regular being obedient of stuff like that I don't clap for them and like yay you did all the dishes yay that's great um, not usually okay it's, it's something outstanding that happens you know if someone and if someone just sings a song it's like okay but if they did a really good job singing the song and it's really awesome then yeah we'll clap for them okay and so in this psalm here, it talks about clap your hands, okay? And again, think of it this way. You don't clap your hands just for, you know, just doing the regular uh, stuff around there. Like, hey, you, did, you work today from 9 to 5. Yay, that's great. You did your, unless you're a lazy bum, and that's really an accomplishment to do your daily work. But, um, but keep this in mind. It's only outstanding stuff that we're clapping for. And, uh, and and praising, you know, giving praise for. Um, so let's read here today. This is Psalm 47, and it starts out with, Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. It starts out with that, you know, clap your hands, all, all the nations, not just a few people, but all the nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued the nations under us, people under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. Okay, so it we're gonna it's gonna go into detail why we're clapping uh, for God and why we're giving shouts of praise because of everything He's done for us. And again, this is outstanding because no one else can do this for us. Okay, um, <laughs> how the Lord is most high and awesome. I'm not awesome. Uh, I'm just a regular guy. Um, he chose our inheritance for us. Uh, he subdued the nations. I cannot subdue nations. Only God can do that. Uh, verse 5. God has ascended amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For the God is the King of all the earth. Sing to Him a psalm of praise. Okay. He's... Not just a king, but he's the king over all the kings. Okay, that you can't think of anyone like that. You know, you might be king of uh, Russia or uh, Ukraine or you know Mexico or whatever, or president, uh, but you're not king over all of those. Uh, but it's only God. Verse eight: God reigns over all the nations. God is seated on His holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Okay. So again, this psalm is, it's just real simple today is clap your hands and exalt God. And then it gives the reasons why, because he, he's over everything. Uh, he has power over everything. And the person that we think is the, the greatest person, the king over this nation or the president over this nation, God is over all that. He can control all that uh, just real simply, uh, just by a command. Um, but God is over all that. So that's why we clap and sing praises to God. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Sunday, and I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Colossians, and then next Sunday as we go back into Psalms. Lord's blessing. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.